Okay, so this week's job is a valent upgrade. So this has been put on in on on off controls with high temperature supply to the underfloor heating. So I've got underfloor heating through just on that side and um, been fitted with a heat genius. So boiler running at really high temperature, low efficiency, still a high efficiency boiler, but low efficiency for a high efficiency boiler, if you can understand what I'm saying. And they're just throwing away lots of money now and uh, lots of, uh, of energy. So we've upgraded it. We've put in uh, two ESB mixing valves. Now, I've used ESB mixing valves in this job simply because of the complexity of the pipe arrangement. I've got to fit it in with what's here. I've got to squeeze in some hydraulic separation because uh, two thirds of the system is under floor heating. And um, you can see here that everything's very tight. So um, now the ESB mixer is very, very handy for these. These are configurable. So when I say that, I mean, you can decide which way around you're gonna go with these. So if you look at this one, the open position is that way. If you look at this one, the open position is that way. So they're both receiving water from opposite directions, although the, the T kind of T section is the same on both ones. That's got the outlet at the top, it's got the outlet at the bottom, so they work in reverse. And um, so you can draw out your little schematic here and uh, lay those out, get them in any position you want. There's a little job I did a video of that Alec Morrow had done, where he'd done similar with the ESBs. Very handy. Um, so we've got a pump for each circuit. So this, uh, actually that's the original pump from the underfloor, which was a lower head than the new pump. So we've used that for the hot water. And this one is uh, for the underfloor heating. It's got a higher head pump there. This one does the top floor. Uh, that's a little bit over spec. That's only five or six radiators up there. Um, distribution header, right. So distribution header, you'll notice isn't upsized. And that's simply because this is already the correct size. Everything else is grossly oversized. So should we ever want to have a heat pump in here? Uh, it's about eight kilowatts the house. Um, we could probably get away with collecting straight on, but either way, we have 28 mil from the heat pump to the split position and you'd be away. So a heat pump would slot straight in here. Um, don't know what curve we've got, uh, got to run this heating on for the radiators. So could be the radiators need an upgrade, but very often we don't. Um, got my usual usual uh, valves. I've been using these now for a little while, just 15 mil isolation valves in instead of drain cocks. Um, and you can connect on a, a half inch adapter for your hose drain down. <coughs> or you can put a bit of copper pipe in, whatever you like. Just makes a nice rapid drain down. Uh, one motorized valve, simply for the G3 because it's not the valent cylinder. If there's a valent cylinder, I wouldn't need this to be here to comply with G3. Um, that's done. So VR71, I've got a signal coming out of the hot water slot, going through the overheat stat, goes up to the zone valve. Then uh, my orange wire from the green valve, uh, from the zone valve, sorry, uh, fires up my pump. Now this has got parallel charging activated on this one. Um, might be that we decide later to deactivate it. So this is something you can do. I don't think you can do on the, the Viesman, but you can on the Valence. So, um, but only if we've got two mixed circuits, not if we've got an unmixed circuit. So boilable fire to high temperature to supply the heat required to heat up the hot water cylinder. And the two blend mixing valves will then knock down the flow temperature to the underfloor and to the radiators to the correct temperature. So they can be heating the whole house at one time. That can be deactivated in the main control. This is a sensor gun that I've fitted on this one. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, not much more to say on this really. That's um, obviously my return to my boiler coming up. Now this isn't the way I'd lay it out normally, but I had to fit the low loss header in here and squeeze everything in here in this tight little space. And there's an accumulator that sits in the space here, got an accumulator to go in there, connects onto this union down here. Um, so it's all very tight. Um, um, now it's got a Sonoff system for his secondary circulation pump. Sonoff seems to be a really good idea. So he's got a push button Sonoff uh, switch uh, at the kitchen sink. And then in the bathrooms, he's got PIR's presence indicators and they'll uh, send a little relay into this box which fires up the pump. So the pump will only run when someone's in the active zone. Now the customer's worked this out for himself before I've got it. <coughs> oh, excuse me, before I got here as an IT engineer. Um, 
And what I've done, it's not the same fuse, but I've run in parallel to that the Legionella uh, feed from the, from the VR71. So uh, on a Monday, um, basically it's going to heat the cylinder up to 70 odd degrees, circulate it through the bronze pump, sterilise the whole system and then switch back off. So we're able to run this cylinder at 45 degrees. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, 45 degrees, 300 litres of water. Um, customer have a little bit of experiment. I don't suppose he's going to run out of water at 45. If he does, he'll switch it up a little bit. Um, that's going to give him a lot better efficiencies at the boiler, much faster reheat times, um, and uh, cut down his energy bill as well. well uh, minimal, minimal secondary circulation, high efficiency at the boiler. All I can say is what more would you want? You can't do much else to make this more efficient. Customers doing the insulation, by the way, um, it's quite uh, time consuming insulating pipe work if you're going to do a good job of it. So it's um, sort of skilled DIY if you like. So customers can take it on himself and get all this insulated up. Um, don't have much else to say on this one. That's it. So uh, yeah, hope that helps.